interpolation using tin method. Hello all, welcome to video tutorial in which you will be learning how to interpolate values in survey drawing using tin method interpolation. Tin stands for triangulated irregular network method. Software will create a network of 3D surfaces depending on the position of point data. Value at a given point is derived considering respective 3D surface. Using this method, interpolation can be in three different requirements. A. Interpolate at points where specific block is present. B. Interpolate at a given point. C. Interpolate along an alignment. Interpolating using eSurvey CAD is very easy. There is no process called surface creation in eSurvey CAD. Keep all the elevation in layer called elev and software will internally calculate the required surface. Interpolate at points where specific block is present. In some of the drawings, values need to be interpolated at various points where a specific CAD block has been already present. Using ITB command, you can specify the block name and eSurvey CAD will interpolate the values at all the intersection points of those blocks. Interpolate at a given point. Using ITB command, you can click a specific point for which you want to interpolate the value. In case of ITB command, software will not create the entire surface. It will triangulate the data locally by asking a factor called scanning radius. And only those points are considered for surface creation and value is interpolated. Interpolate along an alignment. In this example, we have alignment which represents the center line of the road. If we want to interpolate the levels on either side of this line, we have to offset the center line. In this example, we will offset center line by 3 meters, thrice on either side. That means we are interpolating values up to 9 meters on either side. Using MCH command, we will mark chainage lines along the alignment at 25 meter interval. For interpolating values, Center line needs to be in longitudinal section layer. Lines representing offsets need to be in offset layer and the elevations representing the surface data need to be in elev layer. Once the offset line, elevations and center lines are moved to required layers, we can interpolate values alone with cross section. Select eSurvey CAD. Interpolate using TIN methods. At cross section, L section offset line that is command ITI. Select any CS line. You can see that software has interpolated the levels at LS offset intersection. If we select all the cross section lines in ITI command, eSurvey CAD will interpolate the values all along the alignment. These interpolated values can be further used for creating cross sections. Note that all the interpolated values will be in a layer called layer 1. Some points may be outside the surface boundary which are selected for interpolation. In such cases, value will still be interpolated but it will be created in layer 2. We recommend you to use those interpolated values only in case if such interpolated values appear to be normal in relation to input data given. Note. If you are using 64-bit AutoCAD, then you have to use ITI64 command instead of ITI and similarly ITB64 instead of ITB command. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn how to interpolate the values along a 3D polyline.